Hello and welcome to this course on Cloudera Data Platform. My name is Sijesh and this video I will show you how this Cloudera Data Platform portal looks like. So there are a lot of changes that uh, the Cloudera has made on this release. And the first thing, uh, the login prompt almost look uh, similar but there are slight changes and they have some uh, something like uh, splitted this uh, main page into two section and on the left hand side you can see uh, the support help and uh, this option and uh, again uh, the help uh, you will get uh, the cloudera manager documentation and the support portal you can uh, click here and uh, go to the support community page or uh, cloudera uh, support page if you have the credential you can log in here and uh, open your cases uh, so that you will get the support from the Cloudera and uh, you can uh, type your credential whatever the credential and uh, like a previous release here also the default credentials are admin admin and uh, in previous uh, release so there will be a panel here where you have uh, most of this option so that is moved to here okay and uh, the admin whatever the credential you choose and if you want to create a uh, uh, i mean if you want to change the password and if you want to log out so you can do from this uh, option so you have option to sign out and you can ch just check your uh, details like uh, what is your user profile and what are the roles associated etc and uh, again uh, you can you have option to change your own password okay so that is also available and this is the same and the running command like if you start a service or stop a service if something is running that will list here and uh, if you just hit here and it will list that uh, what is the running command and all recent command uh, will list what are the uh, commands you have run so far like I just did it uh, zookeeper start and uh, resource manager restart and back to the parcel and this is also uh, normally uh, in uh, Cloudera data hub or, or previous release of Cloudera uh, before 7 uh, that option was uh, here on the top right mouse corner that is moved to this side and again the parcel the same uh, this page looks almost similar to the previous release and you have option to download the parcel if it's available and uh, activate install or delete all those options are available and uh, the parcel repository uh, settings you can add a new url or you can update an existing url and uh, here you can add those details okay and uh, the other configurations like the directories uh, where you are uh, downloading the parcel then report directory uh, all those options this looks more or less same as previous release but only thing is like it's uh, this option is moved to this side instead of from the rightmost top corner and uh, if you just uh, click here you can come back to the home page uh, where you have your uh, cluster name this is the cluster name and uh, this is the page uh, where it's showing uh, the version and uh, uh, what are the components available and uh, management service and again that option you can get from here like uh, CDP cluster so that will show this option and uh, again the management service if you want to uh, list the management service either you have to click here so that will list uh, the components as well as the management service also if you are just hitting here and you can select the management service so management services are like a activity monitor alert publisher all those things are available here and also you can set the configuration and all So again uh, back to here so you can choose individual components from here okay and uh, uh, 
what are the other options like a host option roles host template yarn application so this one this thing we can and also you can add a few more cluster so you can uh, i mean uh, add multiple clusters into the same cloud or manager so basically you should be able to control uh, multiple uh, clusters like you can add one more or many more cluster to the same cloud or manager so that you can continue the same steps and uh, uh, on the left hand side so you can see the host so this will show all the host so you can add a new host all those things you can do from the uh, this uh, panel so you have an option to add host and the configuration and uh, what is the status of all this host and if you feel like uh, moving to this side that is also will give you a detailed view and uh, you can just change the configurations also from here all the host configurations like the common java directory and all you can do and uh, diagnostic uh, events and log you can get from this uh, option like uh, so what are the events happened all those options and uh, the next is the audit again uh, the audit will uh, give you an information like uh, uh, service restart login all those things you will get from here and uh, when it happened and you have an option to download this as a csv and uh, uh, the same similar to the chart dashboard and chart build uh, uh, chart builder option available here so that will uh, give you an option or you can create a uh, dashboard so this replication is again the bdr option available so if you uh, look in or compare to the previous releases so you can see the same uh, replication option on the somewhere near to the right uh, top side but that is more to this side so snapshot and replication adding peer option available here so basically you can configure this to uh, move or uh, i mean the transfer or copy files from one cluster to another so you have to add one more cluster and add it as a pair and then uh, you can configure uh, this replication and snapshot also you can do the same way then the administration uh, basically whatever the administration settings then user and role uh, security all these options are available say for example if you want to configure kerberos you can uh, get that option from the security administration security option okay so we have option to enable kerberos uh, setup data at encryption so and uh, the new option the private cloud so which is the uh, a new uh, option uh, you can uh, see here this private cloud option which was not available in the previous releases so this is how uh, the cloud RAM manager looks like uh, at very high level so we will be uh, i mean uh, checking all these things in detail in the upcoming video i hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye